Well, hello there, you're watching the official Beatbox Fans YouTube channel, and we are back at Fantasyland yet again for the Winter Trauma event. We came here last year and we absolutely loved it, so we thought, why not come back and experience Winter Trauma again? Uh, today, it is our second day here at Fantasyland. I decided not to vlog the first day as I just wanted to. I just wanted to uh, experience the park through my own eyes. I just didn't want to vlog straight away, and it kind of makes a change for the channel because usually I vlog the first day and I don't vlog the second day. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, get in the park and you know, get back on fly and tavern and experience it through my own eyes. And um, yeah, and. We also did have a night in Cologne, uh, so we flew in on Monday, we had a night in Cologne, and then uh, yesterday, I mean obviously this vlog goes up in the future so it won't make sense, um, but then uh, uh, yesterday on the Tuesday we came here to Fantasyland, and uh, today's Wednesday, so um, um, today's our second day, and we've also got a day in a bit tomorrow, and then we'll be heading back into Cologne, have another night in Cologne, and then Friday we'll be flying back, but you don't need to know that. Yeah, it's great to be back here at Fantasyland. You know, I absolutely adore this park. You know, it's such an incredible park. And and again, we are staying on the uh, Charles Lingber Hotel. And as you can see, I'm on the uh, viewing platform um, at the uh, Charles Lingber Hotel. Yeah, it's just absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, so of course, we'll be getting back on our favorites, including uh, Fly, which, has just been dispatched. There we go. So we'll be getting back on fly. We'll be getting back on Taron, of course. Uh, we'll be getting back on uh, Black Mamba, Wingersphere, of course. Um, I mean, we've already uh, been on these rides for the first day, but for you guys, it'll be your first time, and that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, come along and join me for a day here at the Tarzalance Winter Trauma event. I'm Ward on you. You're watching me, Pop Fans, and. Let's head into Fantasyland and have some fun, shall we? So we've just had our first fight of the day on our second day here at Fantasyland and of course it had to be fly. Um, so my opinions on Flyer last year, um, I thought the the experience um, as a whole was amazing. However, I thought the ride in itself wasn't that uh, good. However, this year, I can happily say that I've changed my mind. I actually now think that Fly is a really, really good coaster. Um, when we did our two rides on it the first day we were here, uh, we absolutely, uh, we literally fell in love with it again and so I can safely say now I love flight as a whole experience you know when you're queuing up and you know you've got all the theming and I also love the ride experience in itself because like last year I felt some parts of it were uncomfortable um, but this year I've just, I've got a completely new different opinion of uh, flight I absolutely love it. I'm not sure where it ranks in like my top 10 coasters. I'll have to um, decide that when um, when we uh, leave Germany. Uh, but yeah, Fly, I mean, it's such an incredible coaster. And not just Fly, but the whole area of Rukba. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. Just absolutely incredible. Just waiting for these people to go past. So Dan, what are your opinions on the uh, fly? Uh, I love it even more than the tin. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. It's superb. Yeah, it's really brilliant. Yeah, it's Stop absolutely it. brilliant. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head over to uh, Kluckheim now, where um, we'll be having a ride on Taran and maybe a ride on Rake too. But yeah, great. Uh, it's been a great start to our second day here at Fantasyland. So here we are in Kluckheim, and there's Taran. You know, between um, Tauern and Helix at uh, Lissyberg, it's so close. Um, but I have to say, Tauern is still my second favourite and Helix 
it's not my first favourite. Yeah. And I just want to point out to a certain uh, Madeline out there, you know, this is what a superior launch coaster looks like. Not that this Rita at Alton Towers, none of that. There we go. <laughs> Madeline, if you're watching, I know, I'm only winding you up. Yeah. Let's go on the town, shall we? So we had our ride on Taron and we also had a ride on Vake. Uh, Taron, um, it did have a uh, kind of a big queue. Um, I think we waited around uh, 35 minutes. Um, but for but for uh, Vake, we just we just literally walked straight on the front row, so that was excellent. Uh, our next ride here up from Tarzan is going to be Mystery Castle. I really do love Mystery Castle. It's a really great, um, you know, launched uh, drop tower. Um, and I love the theme and inside the attraction and uh, yeah so that's our first three rides of the day done here at Fantasyland uh, Fly, Taran and Ray now on to Mystery Castle so we had a ride on Mystery Castle which was really good as always um, then after Mystery Castle we had a ride on Colorado Adventure uh, Colorado Adventure I really like it's um, quite of a unique mine train isn't it um, funny enough, like last year, I, I thought Colorado Adventure was really rough, uh, but this year I didn't think it was rough. Like, I enjoyed it more this year than I did last year, which was a bit strange. Um, then after that, we had a round of Black Mamba, which had, um, it said it was on five minutes, but it was literally less than that. Um, so we were almost on straight away. Um, yeah, Black Mamba, I really like Black Mamba. Um, what do you think of Black Mamba, Dad? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, he thinks yeah, he's eating. Um, but yeah, Black Mamba, it's a good b &M invert. And, um, you know, um, the, the <laughs> Black Mamba is one of the only two b &M inverts I've done this year. Uh, the other one being Nemesis and Verna, because, as you all know, Nemesis has had its uh, retract work this year. And um, it's crazy to think that Nemesis is only like three months away from returning. So it'd be really good to get back on Nemesis. But anyway, we're having a quick uh, pit stop. I've got myself a Bratverse and a uh, bottle of water. And um, yeah, I'm not sure where we're going to go to next. I think we might look at going over to, to uh, Chiapas and like, I know, uh, riding Chiapas in this weather. But it's got to be done at least once, hasn't it? So I think we might look into doing Chiapas. And then after Chiapas, we'll see where the day takes us. Might maybe head over to Winger's Fair and Force. Um, we really love Winchester Fair and Balls. I love, I really love both of them. But anyway, I'm going to tuck into this bright verse before it gets cold, and I shall see you guys in a bit. So we did decide having a ride on Chappas, and whilst it was fun, my feet are absolutely soaked. Um, no, it was good. Um, we didn't get, uh, apart from my feet, I didn't get wet too much. But uh, we've just come back to our room here at the Charles Lingba Hotel, you know, just to. Uh, you know, change all um, footwear and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, Chiapas, it was fun. I really enjoy Chiapas every time I come into Fantasia Um, You know, it's got to be done at least once, hasn't it? And I can't believe that next year will mark um, 10 years since Chiapas opened. Like, can you believe it? Like, to think Chiapas opened, uh, well, next year it'll be 10 years. It's incredible. Um, so after Chiapas, we did... Uh, have a ride on Taran, that was fun, on the front row of course um, and then after Taran we did fly and then now we're back here and we are going to go back into the park again but we just thought we'd um, get away from the cold and obviously change our footwear and stuff like that after that uh, a little bit um, soaking wet ride on Chiapas um, but yeah um, I'll see you guys in a bit. I don't know where we're going to go next. Maybe head towards Wingersfield and Force because yeah. we haven't done... Yeah, my dad just agreed with me. So yeah, we'll probably head to Wingersfield and Force once we've um, had a little bit of warmth in our uh, cosy cabin here at the uh, Hotel Charles Lingba.
So as you saw there, um, here in the Rookbet area, they did put on a light show. So I thought I'd get some footage for you guys uh, so that you could see it. Uh, we, we haven't left our room yet. We were in our room for probably, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour and we were that long. And, uh, we were in our room for that long. Um, God. A little bit of a brain freeze there, a brain freeze moment, and uh, we heard the uh, music going off. So I thought I'd come out and um, get a uh, some footage of the light show for you. Uh, but yeah, we're ready to head back out onto the park, and um, I think we're going to head over to Winges Fear and Force, and that'll be really good because I looked at the Fantasyland app. Um, I downloaded it the first day we got here, and. Uh, According to the app, both Winger's Fear and Force are on uh, 10 minutes, so let's head over to Winger's Fear and Force. So we've just done both Winger's Fear and Winger's Force, and um, out of the two, um, because you know it's been literally a year since we were last set for Tarzan, uh, we definitely prefer um, Winger's uh, Fear. Uh, I mean, like both of them are really good, but. Um, yeah, I, I just prefer Winger's uh, Fear over uh, Winger's Falls. I think my dad's, I think my dad's one of the photo here with uh, one of the uh, Fantasyland mascots. I wait for my dad to have his um, photo, and then I'll get his uh, thoughts on Winger's Fear and Winger's Falls. So, uh, Winger's Fear and Falls. Your opinion? Um, first one, fear. When just fear, yeah, that's what no, I just said, yeah. Up. I mean, like, as I said, they're both great. I love Winger's Force and I love Winger's Fear, but, you know, Winger's Fear for me, um, it's just uh, better, but, you know, they're both good. Anyway, we're gonna head over to Klukheim and we're gonna um, do Taran and Rake in the Dark. Uh, I remember doing Taran in the Dark for the first time last year. And we did it on the front row and I was absolutely amazed by it. Like, it, was, it just blew me away. So I'm really looking forward to doing Taron in the dark uh, once again. And uh, hopefully on the front row too, you know. Because uh, like, all, all of our rides on Taron this trip so far have been on the front row. So, of course, it'll be fantastic to uh, ride uh, Taron on the front row in the dark. I mean, what more could you have asked for? Let's head over to Club Climb. So we had a ride on Taran. Um, we were on the back row and it was great. Um, it was raining when we got on the back row of Taran. And, um, but yeah, it was great. It was absolutely great. Yeah, I, this this segment on the vlog is not going to be the best because I've had a few beers to drink, so I might just be like talking absolute... I, I'd say it, but I want to keep it family friendly. So I'm going to say, I'm going to... Probably be talking absolute, um, you get the feeling, but yeah, uh, but yeah, so after uh, we did a uh, town, we didn't do bake, um, we had a uh, well, we went to this, uh, uh, we went to this fun house attraction in the uh, Berlin area of the park, and, and that was pretty fun, it was pretty fun, like, I probably want to do it again, but it was a pretty fun attraction, um, but yeah, I just want to come and take you up, uh, I thought I'd come and take you guys back to where I started the vlog. Uh, don't worry, it's not the end of the vlog because I am going to do the third and final day because I haven't vlogged a lot from the second day. So I thought I'd take you back. Uh, I thought I'd take you guys back to where I started this vlog. And uh, yeah, this is what at night, and uh, yeah, it's crazy. It's um, literally gone past twelve in the morning here in Germany as well. So yeah. It's been a great second day here at uh, Fantasyland. Um, and also, I was in the bar. Uh, I was on my own. My dad, he went off early to bed. And um, I got talking to some uh, Dutch theme park reviews. I don't know what your names were, but if you are watching this, then shout out to YouTube because YouTube were incredible to talk to. Um, and I also got talking to the bartender. Um, <laughs> I can't remember his name from the top of my head uh, because it's kind of hard to pronounce but um, he's also a theme park enthusiast like me so shout out to you as well but you know it's just it's just me uh, after a few beers isn't it 
<laughs> um, but no, like, I mean, look, but it's just so beautiful at night, isn't it? By the way, I better stop waffling. I'm gonna take in the view for a few minutes before I head back to um, our room uh, for a good night's sleep. So I'll see you guys um, for our third and final day here at Phantasialand's uh, Winter Trauma event. Um, so I'll see you guys in literally a couple of seconds, but not even a couple of seconds, not, yeah, not even a couple of seconds, literally probably nanoseconds, but yeah, this bit of the vlog, it hasn't been the best, has it, because you know I've had a few beers, but hey ho, I'm on holiday, so I best enjoy myself while I can, eh? Good morning for my third and final day here at Fantasia Line. Now we've just got into the park. And of course we are starting on a uh, fly, given the fact that we're staying in the um, uh, Charles Dingbo Hotel. And yeah, this is it, I've heard and final day, I can't believe it. I can't believe how fast this uh, trip has gone. And uh, yeah, last night was such a good night, but it's all about uh, getting on the rides once again. So that's our first ride of the day done here for our final day here at the Land, on flight of course. And um, you know what guys, as much as I love Fly, there's only one thing I don't like about Fly. It's the queue line. Fly's queue line, if you've been through it before, or if you haven't, I might as well tell you. Fly's queue line, literally, is a workout in itself. Like you go, you go up so many steps, down so many steps, up more steps, down more steps. It's like a maze. <laughs> right, I'm out of breath thinking about it. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to head over to Club Prime next and uh, have a ride on Tavern. You know, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Um, but yeah, fly, it's a great coaster, but my word, the queue line in itself is a workout. So we just joined the queue for Tavern. Uh, the advertised queue time for Tavern is uh, currently 40 minutes. Thankfully, the extended queue line isn't open, so. Hopefully it should be 40 minutes or hopefully even less, that would be great. Uh, before we did Taran we had a ride on a uh, Velen Flug in the Berlin area of the park. And as well as that we did have a ride on Miles of Chocolat. Now, when we did Miles of Chocolat last year, my dad, he beat me on Miles of Chocolat. He beat me last year, didn't you? But what happened this year? I, I, I had 10 pounds on me when in. Yeah. <laughs> and I got absolutely drunk. Yeah, and I beat my dad. And uh, what did my dad do? He made excuses. He said his gun wasn't working. My gun wasn't very good. See, when I lost last year, I did not make any excuses whatsoever. I didn't say, oh, my gun's broken. I took, I took the, I took the, uh, the drubbing. I, I, yeah, I took my drubbing. I took my defeat uh, graciously. My, my, I gun, was, my gun was definitely dodging. He is such a sore loser, isn't he? <laughs> he does not like losing. But yeah, I beat my dad on Miles of Chocolat. I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah. And uh, Velen Vlog. Um, you know, uh, riding Velen Vlog reminds me very much of um, Twilight Toadstool, which used to be at Alter Towers. And obviously before that, it was the um, it was the Ugg Swinger. Um, it'd be really nice if Alter Towers could like bring that uh, type of ride back, you know. Uh, I really did enjoy when it was a uh, twirl and turn store because I never got to do it when it was the uh, Ugg Swinger, but uh, I got to do it when it was twirl and turn store. By the way, we're going to wait for Taran and uh, we'll soon be on my uh, second favourite coaster. So we've just had a ride on Taran and on the front row as well. I can't tell you how freezing cold it is to sit on uh, the front row of Taran in this um, sort of weather. Like, because I mean, it's not uh, today's not freezing, but like in these sort of temperatures, sitting on the front row on Taran, honestly, it makes my face freeze. It makes my hands go cold. But you know what? I love it. You know, it's Taran, isn't it? You know, it's got to be done. Front row rides on Taran, it's got to be done. Uh, but yeah, uh, I absolutely love Taran, you know. Um, such a good coaster, isn't it? On to the next ride. 
since I last spoke to you guys uh, we've done Talikan, we've done Black Mamba, we've just done Mystery Castle, uh, we did Rake uh, yeah, um, it's a good last day here at Fantasialand uh, the weather has been really kind to us today um, uh, yeah, the weather's been really kind to us uh, I don't know how, why I repeated that twice but hey ho, I did um and yeah, I think we're going to get a bite to eat now. I don't know where, but um, the last few days I've been having uh, lots of bratwurst. You know, well in Germany, you have a bratwurst, of course. Uh, but I might grab a pizza or something, you know. <laughs> you know, feeling a bit Italian. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys after we've had a bite to eat. So we've just had a round of Winger's Force. We were going to ride uh, Winter's Fear, but uh, sadly Winter's Fear was uh, down, which was a shame. So we had to settle for Winter's uh, Force. Uh, our plan of action now is we're going to head over to Taran, and then I think Black Mamba, and then we're going to end our uh, trip here to Fantasyland with a ride on um, Fly. So yeah, uh, it's time to do our final three rides here at Fantasyland Winter Storm event. So we've had a ride on Tower, we've had a ride on Black Mamba, and the time has come for us to take our last ride here at Fantasyland. And it has to be fly, doesn't it? I can't believe it. I can't believe how fast this uh, trip has gone, you know. But it's been an, an, an it's been an amazing trip. Anyway, let's uh, take our last ride on fly. Here at Fantasyland, Winter Trawler. And just like that, our trip to Fantasyland for the Winter Trawler event has sadly come to an end. So it's been a couple of hours since we were at um, Fantasyland. Um, I, I did want to end the vlog at Fantasyland, but um, we just didn't have enough time to uh, film like the last bit of the vlog at Fantasyland because like uh, the shuttle bus that runs from the park to uh, Bull train station uh, was leaving at um, quarter past five and like I think by the time we got a flight it was um, it was like nearly five o'clock so I just didn't have enough time to like film this part of the vlog uh, by fly and in Rookba so um, I do apologize about that um, so we have come back to Cologne for um, a night um, and then tomorrow, tomorrow morning, we fly back to the UK. Um, so it's good to be back in Cologne for another night. I think I didn't mention at the start of the vlog that um, we had a night in Cologne at the start of the trip uh, on the Monday. Uh, today's the first day. Um, and um, so, yeah, it's great to be back in Cologne. And funnily enough, we're in the same hotel. So um, on the Monday night, we stayed in in the Premier Inn and um, tonight we're back in the Premier Inn <laughs> uh, this Premier Inn it's about 
It's about a 25 minute walk from the uh, uh, the Dom, the Cologne Cathedral and uh, the central train station in Cologne, uh, the Köln uh, Hauptbahnhof. You know, that that's how they say in Germany, don't they? Hauptbahnhof, like, for like the main train station. Um, but yeah, um, we had a nice meal out in Cologne. Um, not in the actual city centre, but about... Uh, we went to this pizzeria um, place, which was about, probably about a 10 minute walk from our hotel. It was really good pizza, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then I had some beers down in the hotel bar, which was all right, it was decent. But anyway, uh, that is it. That concludes the vlogs on theme park fans in 2023. Like, I cannot believe how fast this year has gone. Um, I hope you have enjoyed all of the blogs that we that um we have made uh, for the channel this year. Um I know this year hasn't been the best for this channel, but I will address that in an, in a separate video uh towards the end of this year. Um because you know next year I want to do better. Um but again I'll address that in an, in a separate video. Um but yeah, it's crazy like it only feels like a minute ago. It was the opening day at Autumn Towers, and we were there for the first day of the Curse of Autumn Manor. And then we went over to Sweden, where we went back to Liceberg. Um, and then, obviously, we went down south to Chessington and Thorpe. And then, Fantasyland for their Winter Trauma event. Um, so, yeah, and that's pretty much the vlogs done and dusted with in 2023. Um... I, I forgot to mention my highlight from this trip. Um, so, you're probably thinking I'm, I'm going to say Town of Fly. Whilst I did enjoy get, whilst I did enjoy getting back on Town and Fly, um, one of my top highlights was um, uh, where I got talking to one of the barmen in the uh, bar 1919 in the Charles Lingbo Hotel. And he's a theme park enthusiast as me, and uh, we we could, we literally connected like straight off the bat, and uh, we got talking about you know Fantasyland, other European theme parks, or towers, and uh, and he and he's very similar to me. So obviously, as you may or may not know, I grew up with Walton Towers. He grew up with Fantasyland, so it's kind of like a shared connection. And um, so it was lovely to meet him, and he's pretty much one of my friends now, which is really lovely. Like, who'd have thought that would happen? Um, and then, and then on a Wednesday night, I got talking to these two Dutch people who, again, are theme park reviews. Us, uh, sadly, I didn't catch their names though. But you know, um, if they're watching this, then hello. It was great to meet you. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it, really. Um, if you did enjoy this vlog, then please give it a like because it really helps the channel out. Um, if you are new around it and you would like to become part of the Theme Park Fans family, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. As always, our Facebook page link is in the description below. So please go and check out and give it a like. And that's about it um, for theme park fans in... Uh, well, for the for the theme park fans vlogs in 2023. Uh, the vlogs that will be back in 2024, of course. You know, uh, 2024 being the 10th year anniversary of this channel. So, yeah. Um, I, I will make sure to do at least another video. Uh, before, uh, probably either before Christmas time or after Christmas time, but, 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 but uh, before the new year. So I'll see you guys then. I'm Rod on you. Um, you watch me in Vans, and um, yeah, that's about it from the Fantasyland Winter Trom 2023 vlog. Bye, guys, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Goodbye.